Welcome back, Om. Okay, so here's where we left off. Right. Okay. Traverse the pond. Yes. Our home was a lot of fun to make, but I can't wait to show you what I've been working on next. I put so much work into this game. So much work for us. I hope you love it. Please let me know if you don't. I won't be mad. I'll just try even harder. Okay, onwards to adventure. Loading the north. We're here. Okay, we should hurry up. Uh, we should hurry on up to the town. I've got something to show you that I think you're gonna love. Oh, hello again, Om. I'm afraid I can't join you on your quest. I heard what happened to the mayor, though. I think everyone is waiting for you in town, so you better hurry. I'll just be here alone. That's okay, though. I'm content with my place in the universe. Might just dip my feet a bit deeper in the water today. Goodbye, my friend, and good luck. We're almost there. Are you ready for your surprise? I can't wait any longer. You can have party members now. Everyone you helped yesterday can now fight alongside you. The ones you choose will join you on the rest of your adventure to save Tortley. Sadly, those you did not help cannot be taken with. Each town member has a unique moveset in battle, so choose wisely. You'll be able to leave the town once you have two members recruited. Now go out there and recruit two of your best friends. Other than me, of course. Haha. <laughs> when you're done, just head to the forest east of town. Ah, you came back. I knew you would. You're a good person, you know that? You have gained my full respect, Tom. It would be an honor to join you on your quest to save the mayor. I need to finish what I started. I must avenge my wife. May I join you on your quest, Tom? Thank you. Let us begin our journey. A cool hat added to inventory. Uh, who else do I want? Can I help the... Can I get the... Uh, cauldron dude? I bet cauldron's food tastes even better now. And the air smells wonderful. What are you doing? Hey, punk. I'm taking my one and only break from making deliveries. I don't have time to play little search and rescue games with you. Bye. Hello. Welcome back, my friend. Your dish is finally ready. After mixing together glass and a uh, glass of water, Kevin's breakfast in hand, we made something that smells delicious. The best part is you get to name it. So, what would you like to name? Uh, what would you like to call it? A uh, glass of water, Kevin's breakfast in hand. Uh, digits of the deep. Mm. Let's call it D O T D D O T D. I love it. Also, I hear you're going on an adventure to save the mayor. I'd love to tag along if I can. You'll be able to try out many new dishes. Plus, Tortley is a real good friend of mine. I don't want to see anything bad happen to him. So, what do you think? Can I come along? Yes. Hmm. Lovely. DOTD added to inventory. Where is the blacksmith? Do you have a weapon for me? Welcome back, Om. Om the Brave. After much blood, sweat, and tears, I have finally crafted the perfect sword. Please take it as a gift. Wait, you already have one. Oh, 
that's awkward. I still feel like I owe you for protecting me yesterday. I have an idea. I'll come with you to save the mayor. There's nothing my big beefy arms can't handle. What do you say? Although, it looks like your party is already full. Would you like to swap out? Uh, no. I understand. My arms can be quite intimidating. Well, if you change your mind, I'll be right here flexing. It looks like we're ready to continue on our journey, um. Once you leave the area, you can still come back. You just won't be able to recruit anyone else. So make sure you're happy with your party. When you're ready, uh, walk into the forest and we can begin our journey into the unknown. Natural leader. Uh, L? There we go. Oh, before I forget, you can also talk with your party members using the party menu. Who knows what they might have to say. But don't forget, you can still talk to me with the B key. I have never done that. Why do you think that I would do that now? Uh, do we have a map? I don't think we have a map, do we? The hand tugs on your shoulder. Okay. Can we collect that for the dude? I guess not. What's up, Poppy? Encounter? Loading the Bluglands. Don't like that sound. Blug. Blug. Blugland. Blugland. Just pretend it smells really bad here. I forgot. You can uh, use left shift to slash your sword. Well, isn't that a familiar face? It's Groncho. Oh, hey again, Om. I just wanted to apologize again. I'm sorry that I became so angry after you took my sword. It was yours originally, so you deserve to have it back if you want it. I think we should just be friends again. Wait, who are they? Did you recruit party members for an adventure without me? Why didn't you ask me to join? So let me get this straight. You stole my sword. Then decided to go on an adventure with friends, and didn't even think to invite me. I thought we were friends. Okay, yep, now I'm upset again. You are officially unforgiven. You know what? You don't even deserve to continue this adventure. Now I need to fight you again. Okay, so it looks like Groncho wants to fight us again. Good thing you have new friends to help out. Uh, defending works the same as before, except now you have two more keys. You'll see what I mean. This will show you for being such a bad friend. Oh. You're going to notice a new rest button. If things are getting too rough, you can take a breather and sit out a turn. This will heal you a small amount, too. Everyone else has a second special move, including yourself. I thought Love Tap would fit you, since you're full of untamed power. It's a powerful attack that will sur uh, surely break the bones of any friends we are trying to make. These moves can be quite powerful, so they ha uh, they do have a cooldown. To decrease this cooldown, you just need to time your blocks perfectly. Okay, enough of me rambling on. Let's fight. Uh, R. Why couldn't you have just invited me? I was literally at your house. X. 
Uh, splash them. Oh. I would have given back your sword. Uh, I would have given you back your sword anyways. You could have just asked. F. I hate how impressive that was. You know, I hope your adventure isn't that fun. M. L. I can't handle this anymore. You're just too cool to argue with. I'm leaving. Wow, that was incredible. You really did a number on Goncho, but I hope he understands how much we love him. After all, we just, want, we just want him to be our friend. One last thing. Your party may have taken some damage in battle. If you open your inventory, you can select a party member to see a new feature called Compliment. If you type out something really nice to that character, they will be completely healed. If you need to be fully healed, I'll compliment you myself. Use compliments sparingly, though. They are not easy to come by around here. Alright, on your way, I'll just be here, alongside you. Are they gone? Hello? Is anyone there? Oh no, that creature looks like she could use some help. Hello? I think I hear footsteps. Is someone there? Please, I have nothing left to give. Wait, you don't sound like a bug. You need to help me? They took my babies. The Blugs are going to eat them if we don't save them soon. I would find them myself, but I can't exactly see without them. <clears throat> if you can do this for me, I can get you across the water. Although, I did hear a giant rumbling sound not too long ago towards that direction. Probably not important. Anyways, return to me once, you're free all f uh, once you free all four of my babies, please. A mother should never be without her children, especially when she's blind without them. Alright, let's go find some babies. I really hope we can save Isla's kids. She must feel so alone without them. That must be scary, being alone. Your computer program, why are you so worried about being alone? You're never going to save those kids. Damn it. Don't let this adventure scare you. They're nothing compared to us blugs. You're all just a bunch of dorks. That was good. Okay, that was actually pretty neat. A D S. Damn it. S A T Okay, I can't lie anymore. You're just too cool. My eyes have really been opened.
Butterflies appear in mattering mage's stomach and are trying to eat their way out. They will now take damage for a few turns. A, T, S. Wow, I might have to join you on your next adventure. I don't even want to eat Isla's babies anymore. This fighter is just so talented. Well, they seem nice. Aside from the whole eating babies part. You should try slashing this one in the back. You'll get to attack first if you hit them before the encounter. We need to fight. Blugs only. Sorry. Just die. Sorry, I didn't mean that. Blugs are cool. You are not. Sorry, that was mean. I wish I wasn't as insecure about my face. There, I said it. You seem confident. It's contagious. Now I feel confident. I'm gonna leave now. Goodbye. At least the butterflies are easy to parry. I guess I'm going home starving again. But at least I made a friend today. Maybe this adventure isn't so bad after all. Well, I'm off. Bye. Good job, they're never gonna forget us. The hand tugs on your shoulder. Is that all that these mushrooms do? Can I use the hand? There we go. Okay. You dig and find nothing. Invalid data. File now available in documents folder. That seems odd. Stealing Isla's children is like taking candy from a baby. Except the candy was the baby. I think. This is confusing. Let's just fight. Too early.
Do you really think you can defeat me? I can literally do magic. It's pretty rad. Mantering mage is feeling a little dumb and dizzy. Their attacks might miss for a few turns. I made you do that. I'm controlling your mind right now. I really don't know how you did that. But I'm still more talented. Not dead. Still slightly alive. S D A. Alright, Morton's dead. I may be able to break someone's bones, but words do hurt. I pressed it. Om starts to feel insecure in front of their friends. They'll take more damage for a few turns. How embarrassing. I didn't realize how talented you were. Wow, just take the kid. You deserve it. I'm off to practice more magic stuff. Shoot me an email if you want to do this again. Someone gave Om a compliment, and their insecurities have been temporarily cured. I heard all over. Great job. Trust it. Vlogs rule, but not as much as you. Okay, Morden just respawned his health points. Okay, so we should be good. We can't imagine losing someone so close to you. Someone who's your world and your reason to wake up every day. You might never see them again. You would have to live your whole life without them. That thought is terrifying. I'm glad we have each other, so I don't have to think about that. Watch out, you almost stepped on me. Just because I'm so tiny and hardly visible doesn't mean you can just waltz around. I could have died. Like, actually died. Well, anyways, I can't let you pass to Izzel's kid. Unless you can answer three of my riddles. Yes, for it is I, the famous Rebus the Mysterious. I'll give you a moment to mentally prepare yourself. Alright, it's time to begin the riddling. If you want to save that kid behind me, riddle me this. Jack's father has three sons. Snap, Crackle, and what? Jack. Okay, that was clearly too easy. Uh, let's do something a bit harder, since you're so good at riddles. How many of Isla's children have we captured? Four. Wow, I see you are an expert. But no expert has ever made it past my final question. Countless have tried and failed, and you will join them soon. Okay, here we go. What am I thinking of right now? Uh, donuts. What the heck? How did you know? This is crazy. You really have proven yourself to be an expert of riddles. You have bested me, stranger. I owe you that kid, don't I? Alright, go on. I am actually quite astonished by you. You are just so smart and talented. No one has ever gotten that last question correct. 
I can't wait to tell my friends about this. I'll have to make my riddles and questions even harder for the next time we see each other. You're such a riddle, Master Alm. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but I need to ask you something. You won't ever leave me, right? Actually, never mind. Sorry, my thoughts are kind of just spilling out. You don't have to worry about me. As long as we stay together, nothing can tear us apart. You guys can't see this, but uh, Windows just asked me if I wanted to turn on sticky keys because I pushed chef shift five times. <sighs> Windows. I'm just here for the party. You're going to make me late. Now I need to fight you. Damn it. S-A-D Oh, we can't get to the guy in the back Would help if I had my keys on the right place My fingers on the right keys I doubt we were even invited to the party I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. You probably were invited. Literally everyone was. I didn't even see those. S A T S A T Come on. A D S A D S. A. D. S. Alright, I'm out of here. I honestly just wanted some cake. But who needs cake when you have friendship? Why does sometimes it gives me forever to hit that, and other times it's just like, nope. Well, if I'm not eating babies, then what do I have to live for? Friends, of course. Can't stop now. Tortley is waiting for us. Would you like to keep going? Yeah, yeah, we've seen this before. Damn it. 
Got them both. Z. Wow, you're amazing. See you next time. You are amazing in that fight. Fighting for friendship is so fun. That hole looks mysterious. There seems to be a mysterious hole in the ground. Will you jump in? Let me explore here first. Okay. Yeah, let's jump in. Let's Silent Hill 2 this. Oh goodness, it's so dark in here. Don't forget, you can press L to light up your lantern. There is a small invitation tucked under the head. There are a lot of blood guts on it, but you can make it out. You are invited to Tom's birthday. It's a very secret place. I can't wait to see all of my friends. Uh... That seems out of the usual. Run! 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 Surprise! Wait, you're not Tom. Where is he? This was supposed to be his surprise birthday party. Now it's all ruined. How could you? What a bad friend you are. Now I have to fight you. Where is Tom? What did you do with him? Actually, can we go back? Why are you ruining Tom's birthday party? A, B, K. Tim is feeling a little dumb and dizzy. Their attacks might miss for a few turns. Please, just leave. You weren't even invited. At least, I don't think you were. I sent a lot of invitations. 
Uh, mystery meal. Damn it. Meatloaf. Morton is getting a little bit emotional. He's grown an emotional barrier. They will have temporary health for a couple turns. Nice. Love tap. Now that I'm thinking about it, no one really showed up. Huh. Why didn't anyone come? Is everyone really bad at a, uh, is everyone really that bad of a friend? This can't be. Morton has buried their emotions. An emotional barrier is no longer required. But wait, you showed up. He must be a good friend. Huh? Maybe Tom isn't a good friend after all. I put so much work into this party, and he didn't even show up. No one did. This party should be for someone who deserves it. Hey, I have an idea. Let's make it your birthday party. It's your birthday, darling. We all love you very, 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 very much. Just leave the room and come back in. I can't believe Tim wants to throw you a party. We should give him time to prepare. Surprise! Happy birthday, Om. Feel free to enjoy some cake and open your present. Thanks for being a good friend. You can just use that ladder behind me to leave. Wow, Tim is such a wonderful blug. It's a shame he has no more friends left to come to the party. I wonder what's inside. You should break it open with your sword. Look, it's just what we've been wishing for. How did Tim know? You take a bite of the cake. It tastes like chocolate with a hint of dirt. I hope you have a great birthday, Om. Um. It, it, it's not my birthday. Will you ascend? Birthdays can be such a... Uh, birthdays are such a crazy concept. A whole day just to celebrate one special person who gets adored with gifts, attention, and good memories. That's what I want for you. I want every day to feel like your birthday while you're with me. I'm going to make sure you love every bit of our game as much as you love me. Smiley face. Alright, uh, we've got... Three of them. So we need one more. The note reads, I'm headed to my lunch break since you're late again, Tim. Make sure that Isla's baby stays well protected until dinner time. Also, don't forget, one of the lovers is lying, one is telling the truth, and one is doing both. Feel free to ask them all about it, though. Tom. Let's see if you can solve this lever puzzle. You can just slash the lever with left shift to flip it. Don't worry, it will only hurt them a little. I'm supposed to be flipped left, please believe me. Also, don't listen to the south lever, they're lying. The west lever should be neutral. You can just leave me flip to the right. North is clearly lying. They should be flipped right. So one is doing both. Hey, can you, like, not do that? Yeah, don't flip that useless lever, uh, loser of a lever. Flip us cool levers instead. West lever should be neutral. You can just leave me flip to the right. 
I'm supposed to be flipped left, please believe me. Also, don't listen to the south lever, they're lying. Can I see? Thank you. Dude, seriously, stop flipping me. I don't do anything. You're wasting your time over there with that dork. I'm begging you, just leave me alone. I'm literally only here as a distraction. Levy is so important to the puzzle, you have no idea. Wait, really? Do you actually mean that? Yeah, and the moon is made of cheese. Oh, right. Okay, fine, whatever. I don't even care anymore. Alright. So you're lying. This should be flipped right. You're telling the truth, and you're doing both. West lever should be neutral. You can just leave me flipped to the right. Great job, you saved that kid. That puzzle is tough, but I'm sure Isla will be so thankful. It's important to do favors for others to receive their thanks and appreciation. It's our purpose as friends. Anyways, I think that was the last of them. Let's get back to Isla. Aw, you're all red. Hello, adventurer. Thanks to you, I can finally see again, and my boobies are safe. As promised, I can take you across the water to the town known as Stephanieville. Are you ready to travel across the water, Om? Okay, don't forget to hold your breath. We have arrived. Welcome to Stephanieville. It sounds like Snoodle Wonker was headed this way. We should head into town as soon as we can. Oh, well, hello there, stranger. Welcome to Stephanieville. Don't mind little old me, I'm just doing a little bit of fishing. It reads, Welcome to Stephanieville. I hope this new area is fun for you. If I had more time, I would have added more houses that you can actually go into. Hey, you know, I'm really pushing myself hard to make this all for you, right? It hurts a little bit, but it's worth it. Every friendship requires sacrifices, right? Anyways, this is still a wonderful place full of wonderful people. They probably could have used some quests too, actually, but onward to adventure. second. They're off. They're already disabled. Go away. Alright. That doesn't do anything. Hello everyone. Yes, it is I, Mayor Stephanie. If you haven't already heard, things are not looking too good. What are we going to do? We are dying out here. Please, one at a time. They will not divide us. We are strong. We will solve this raft problem together for my... Oh, 
Oh my god, the mayor is dead. Was that a wrath? What do we do now? I am freaking out. If only someone could boost our morale with words. Yeah, like an adventurer of some kind. That'd be so convenient. That adventurer everyone is looking for sure sounds like someone I know. Smiley face. Look, it's an unlikely hero. Hooray! Please, hero, what advice can you give us during these awful times? Drink water. I never really thought of it that way. Wow, thanks. Okay, but we still don't have mayor. What should we do? Uh, anarchy. Oh my gosh. Yes, they're so right. What a clever hero. All right, I think you've gained our trust, hero. Please save us. We have a raft problem, and it's a bad one. You need to help us get rid of them. Yeah, kill them all. You need to go find Reginald the Wise right away. You can find him north of here at his pond. Yes, Reginald knows all. Please save us. Hey, Om, are you taking this seriously? The whole town I made for you is counting on us now, and that speech you gave didn't sound very authentic. Please, just try harder for me. For us. If you can, okay? I put a lot of work into this game. Let's make sure we're having fun with it. Well, it looks like we need to find someone named Reginald the Wise. He's gotta, he's gotta be around here somewhere. Let's explore, Om. They said the cabin up north. My lover is dead. That thing killed the mayor. And I'm a widow. Oh god, I'm a widow. What am I ever gonna do, attractive traveler? Will you hold me, passionately? No, I mustn't. Go, let me grieve. Hello there. Have you come across any bards lately? I myself am a bard. The greatest bard in all the lands, actually. I know how to perfect, uh, perfectly entertain anyone, anywhere, anytime. I've mastered the craft, but I have no one to share my knowledge with. I want to take a new bard down the path of musical enlightenment. You seem like a creative mind full of wisdom and pure imagination. If only you were a bard, I could take you under my wing. If you find any talented bards around here, please inform me immediately. Hey, Bobby. Well, things just keep getting better, don't they? Why, hello there, stranger. Welcome to my inn. You seem tired. Very tired. Feel free to use that bed over there to magically travel to other locations. And don't worry, you can travel back here too. I hope you enjoy your stay. Well, they seem nice. Would you like to sleep? Yes. Where would you like to travel? Home. Good night, Om. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Does that restore our health or no? It sure doesn't. Well, good morning, Sleepy. I hope you had a fun time in the Dream Realm. And don't worry, I watched you all night so you were safe. Uh, th thanks? There are so many interesting new friends to talk to. I hope you aren't considering any of them to be your best friend. That slot is already taken, haha, <laughs> smiley face. I sure hope nothing bad happens to my wife and I. It would be a real shame if we went missing without a trace. Then, when our bodies are eventually found years later, they can't be identified. I sure hope that doesn't happen. Haha. -ha. Wouldn't it be crazy if we just burst into flames right here and now? That is super crazy, right? It's too bad DNA testing is just in its infancy. Bodies, records, and even straight evidence will be harder to find. Huh? Who's there? Who are you? You look like an adventurer. I'm Clyde the Trash Man. I live in the trash. You look like Kilroy. I live and breathe the stuff. Hmm, smell that? Don't you just want to roll around in it? Sometimes I just smear it on my face. Hmm, it's the best. Who needs a job or a marriage when you have trash? 
Not me. Not Clyde. The trash man. Okay. That's enough trash talk. See ya. We finally tracked you down, Reginald the Wise, or should I say, Reginald the Wise Guy. Haha, <laughs> yeah, good one, boss. You've taken out so many of my rafts over the years. Now I have the pleasure of returning the favor. And guess what? There's nothing to help you swim out of this situation. Now it's time for you to swim with the fishes. Yeah, you tell him, boss. I said, now it's time for you to swim with the fishes. Wait, isn't it sleep with the fishes, boss? Joey, just push the raft. Oh, okay. Right, boss. There's a small hole in the raft, so it'll sink. You know, eventually. In the meantime, think about how scary we rafts are. Anyways, I'm off to get some grub. Joey, my good friend, would you care to join me in this feast? We've got garbage on the menu again. Sure thing, boss. I sure do love being great pals. Tiny Joey, you stay here and sin watch. That must be Reginald Dwise. Let's save him. Wah? Who are you? Whatever. It doesn't matter. You'll always regret the day you decided to fight Tiny Joey. Okay. You'll never be as cool as our king. Well, unless you do that. That was pretty cool. Hmm. Why does Joey always get to have grub with King? Maybe I'm just overthinking. But why do I always have to stay and watch? What does Joey have that I don't? I'm a good raff, aren't I? Whoa, you're a good fighter. You've really inspired me. I'm going to go fight Joey and take his place. I always hated the, the name Tiny Joey anyways. You know, sometimes I feel like Tiny Joey. He's trying his best. Hmm. Now how do we get to Reginald? The water is teeming with life at, the very, uh, at every edge of the pond. There's even a really cool frog in there. Nature is so beautiful, isn't it? Uh, we don't have the thing anymore, do we? Fishing pole. Ah. Wow, great job. You saved Reginald Wise. We should go talk to him. Come on. Before we do that, I'm going to put my desk down.
That's better. I appreciate the help, but I really didn't need it. I'm also not sure why you broke my tree. That was a bit uncalled for. You don't look like you're from around these parts. You sure are far from home, aren't you? I can see it in your eyes, traveler. You're looking for someone. Could it be love? No. Could it be friendship? Hmm. Perhaps. But you have already found it. No. No. You're looking for the mayor from the town over. Yes, Mayor Tortley. The missing one. Our town mayor Stephanie died, didn't they? Ah, yes, for it was destined. Now that there's no mayor, King Raph and his crew are going to take over the town. This is bad. I need to track down King Raph right away to put a stop to this. I think you should leave while you can. Ah, my back. In retrospect, I really shouldn't have done that rad flip. Traveler, you need to stop King Raph, for I can no longer continue. Ever since he and his Raph cr uh, crew arrived in the port shipment, they have been causing problems. I think King Raph is planning on taking over the town. Mayor Stephanie's accident today must have been a blessing in disguise for them. You must understand, King Raph is a vile creature that must be stopped. I know many things about him, but not of where he stays now. I understand your quest is to save Mayor Tortley, but I can promise you that by helping this town, you will find your way. I'll pass the line in the end. Captain Guggen will be a good place to start. She owns the fishing shop on the dock, so she handles port shipments firsthand. There is one. Oh, no, no, there's not. Okay. I thought there was another hand. That sound is a bit annoying. Uh, wait, I don't recognize this area. Just be careful, things might get a little bit dangerous. This picnic was such a brilliant idea, Cube. Why, thanks, I... Hey, who are you? What do you think you're doing? Yeah, you're in the Shape Gang zone, pal. Are you trying to ruin our picnic? Uh, what? Yeah, unbelievable. Cylinder is so right. What? Oh, wow, Cylinder. That's pretty controversial. Yeah, wouldn't have expected that coming from you, Cylinder. Anyways, you picked the wrong time to interrupt the Shape Gang. We were just about to enjoy a delicious meal on this lovely fall day. The bread is probably stale from all, all this talking now. Let's show them what we can do with our three dimensions. You came to the wrong part of town, kid. Oh. Oh, it's all one... If I wasn't so three-dimensional, that would have hurt way more. You will never defeat the famous Shape Gang. I keep thinking that the um, the uh, cube is going for me and not Cauldron. Hey, that move is actually pretty cool for a flat person. Oh. 
Looks like my food has finally expired. Among other things, it seems. Alright, we got this. We can just solo them. We should start rethinking our attitude towards this arm fella. I don't think I want to do this anymore. Yeah, I was kind of th thinking the same thing. I don't want to charge flat people anymore. They're actually pretty cool. What he said. Thanks for showing us a good time. See ya. The dodecahedron has uh, added to inventory. Well, that was definitely something. They seem extra dangerous, so good job on befriending them. What is the shovel? Okay. You dig and find? Nothing. We'll need to go look at those documents at some point. Don't let me forget. Because I will forget. Can we, can we talk to the speech bubble? Oh, um, why is Tortley? Uh, I'll fix that. Just go around him, please. Uh, hello? Oh, wait. Did you just touch him? I thought I asked you not to. It should be fine. Let's just go get to the fishing shop. Well, hello there, adventurer. Huh? What happened? See? This is why I told you not to go near her, Mom. I don't understand why you did that. Now everything's broken, and I have to fix it. You could have just ignored him. I politely told you not to and you still did it. Friends don't do that. Did you think it would be funny? Did you want to hurt my feelings? Why did you do it? I hate this place. I hate being here. I hate being alone. I hate this place. All I do is cause problems for others. Do I even matter? I'm such a screw up. I hope I can make amends one day. It's all my fault. Do I even matter? Please take me back. I hate it here. Nobody wants me. This is why... Oh, there you are. You left because I yelled, didn't you? I guess I should apologize. Please, just listen to me next time. I promise I won't yell again if you listen to him. Now, let's get back to saving the town. I think we need to head back to the fishing shop just south of here.
Does the water, like, look dirty to you? Is that, like, an old soda can and a rock and roll t-shirt just floating there? That's, like, absolutely disgusting. I think I need to have a talk with the mayor about this. Oh, wait. They, like, died. Well, I still want to complain to somebody. Your head looks too big. Do you, like, stare at computer screens all day? Don't even get me started on your outfit. My great-grandson dresses better than you, and, like, I don't even know how old he is. I have nothing to give you. Like, why do you even come talk to me? Are you trying to get me to buy something? Like, I don't care. I don't want it either way. Nothing from those filthy hands of yours. Blah, 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 blah. Rude. Well, isn't this a cozy little shop? Well, 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 look what the fish rolled in. I saw your speech on stage a bit ago. Mighty fied words you were speaking up there. Uh, gave me genuine hope that we'll all make it out of this alive. So, Reginald sent you, huh? Well, since Mayor Stephanie just died, King Raph will try and take over everything. I'm guessing he's starting with the docks, seeing as my deckhand hasn't returned. Daryl picks up our delivery there every morning, and I'm starting to get worried. I would go find him myself, but I can't simply leave the shop with it being so busy. So to find King Raph, I would start with those there docks. And if you could bring back Daryl while you're at it, I'd be so grateful. Good luck out there, adventurer. <clears throat> it looks like there's one left. You take it and put it on. Free eye pitch equipped. Free eye patch equipped. My name's Larpo, and welcome to my shop. We have all sorts of candles for sale. I don't think an adventure like yourself would have much time for candles. Tell you what, I've got a special candle I've been holding on to. It's always been there for me when I need when I'm down or need a candle to cry on. I want you to have it. I'm sure you'd have a better use for it. Be sure to check out the other vendors here for some great deals. Candle of pure loneliness added to inventory. My name's Lorno, and welcome to my shop. We have precious gems and minerals for all your crafting needs. Wait, can you even craft? I guess not. Well, you can still look if you want. I have this really strange gem that you can check out. It might confuse you a bit, but go ahead and take a gander. It's a gem of confusing perspective. I have no idea what I see when I look at it, but maybe you'll have better luck. If you want it, I'll happily trade you for it. I'll give it to you for a candle of pure loneliness. It looks like you have one. Would you like to trade it for a gem of confusing perspective? Yes. It's a deal. Enjoy it because I don't understand it. Candle of pure loneliness removed from inventory. Gem of confusing per perspective added to inventory. Could be the docks, but something seems awfully fishy about these sellers. Well, they're the same person. My name's Larvo, and welcome to my shop. We have stale fish here for sale. It's not very good, but we've got other stale things too. Wait, I may have something for you. Check this out. It's Larpo's left kidney. Pretty sweet, right? He doesn't even know I took it. I think it's pretty powerful if you want it. I'm not just going to give it away, though. I'll happily trade it for a gem of confusing perspective. It looks like you have one. Would you like to trade it for Larpo's left kidney? Yes. Easy trade. I hope that kidney keeps you safe in battle. Larpo's left kidney added to inventory. You are Larpo, right? Sorry, I have nothing left to give or trade. Hopefully you're happy with what you ended up with. Thanks again for the trade, Om. Huh, I'm not sure how I know your name, but that's pretty cool, right? My name's Larzo, and welcome to my shop. We have a really cool belt here. Oh, yes, we do. You see, my grandpappy grew up making belts from scratch. He worked countless hours every day of every week to start his own business. You're looking at his very first cool belt stand. Even though he passed away ages ago, I still keep him behind the counter. It helps me stay motivated whenever I start slacking off. I love you, grandpappy. Oh, we don't actually have any belts in sock yet. Just sold the last batch to Larvo a bit ago. Say, I can whip you up a fresh new belt for Larpo's left kidney. Larvo has been selfishly holding onto it, that ego-driven trader. Looks like you found it. Would you like to trade it for a brand new belt? Yes. You won't regret this. Hmm, now this is a good-looking kidney. Enjoy your belt. I got it straight from the source. Questionable black belt added to the inventory. My name's Lardo. Welcome to my shop. We have armor for sale here. I only sell to the local townsfolk, though. Sorry. You're too new. Can't trust you. Don't know you. But I can trade you. I have old armor. 
Good armor. I want that questionable black belt Arzo has. Trade me that belt and I will give you the helmet of seven spikes. Looks like you have it. Will you give it to me for the helmet of seven spikes? Yes. Hmm, good. Very good. Here you go. Questionable black belt removed from inventory. The helmet of seven spikes added to inventory. I think that's fine. Hi, my name is Barry, and I'm a local pirate port protector. Would you look at that? You own an eye patch, too. If that's not a sign of a real pirate, I'm not sure what is. Well, anyways, you've earned my trust, friend. Come on through anytime you'd like. Is that a sword and a stone? How do I get to that? And there's a hand up there, too. You probably shouldn't wander off while wearing that eye patch. You might give the town soak the wrong idea. Damn it. Your eye patch snaps off your head and falls into the water. Eye patch unequipped. Huh, no wonder they were free. All right, Captain Chunk, we are trusting you and your crew with this. Many, many rough hours went into creating these. Make sure you deliver them to the right people. Aye, aye, Captain. No, no, Captain Chunk. You are the Captain. Yes, I am the Captain. Okay, do you understand what we were asking? I just want to be sure. Uh-huh. Well, good enough for me. Hand him the shipment, Joey. Okay, boss. Did you just eat the shipment? Yep. Uh, why? Shipment safe. Okay, well, that's enough dock time for me. Let's go back to the hideout and eat more grub. My best pal, Joey. Would be an honor. I sure am glad to have a pal like you, boss. Good luck, Captain Chunk. Don't let anyone get to that shipment. Aye, aye, Captain. We should find out what's in that shipment. Huh? You not, Raph. You not, pirate. You intruder. I protect shipment. Crew must attack intruder. Crew must help protect shipment. Alm's brain has been filled with new muscle memory. All incoming damage is half for them for a few turns. Ark, you'll never get to that shipment, landlubber. Damn it. Morton said a joke, but no one laughed. They have created an awkward silence. Their next turn will be skipped. Why is everybody beating up on Morton? Well, I'm too old for this fighting stuff. At least you can never be too old for skateboarding. You can never kill me. I aspire to be so much more. Butterflies appear in Dunge's stomach and are trying to eat their way out. They will now take damage for a few turns. That attack was a bit fishy. I guess my meals just weren't good enough. I'm trying my best, you know. Hey, I get what you're trying to do. I don't think I can just leave Captain Chunk, though. Arg.
Wait, yeah, I can. I'm a fish. I'm off to find some great friends. Thanks for the help. Alm's brain is feeling completely normal now. I should probably get going. Thanks for the fun time. Damn it. Damn it. Now that I don't have the eye patch on, I want to go see that thing. Well, hello, my name is Ploppo, and I love to bake. Baking is such a relaxing hobby, even if you aren't great at it. Plus, you get to eat your work. Can't get any better than that. I want to make an old-fashioned pear cake, which is my favorite dessert. But I haven't been able to find pears anywhere. If you come across a can of pears during your travels, please let me know. Until then, all I can say is to keep, it on, uh, keep on baking. Maybe try making some chocolate chip cookies. We had a can of pears at some point, didn't we? never kill me. I aspire to be so much more. Yeah, I can. I'm a fish. I'm off to find some great friends.
I should probably get going. Thanks for the fun time. I think I broke a bone. You're so strong. Should I have made that harder? I didn't think a whole lot about the balance of this game, come to think of it. The mantarangs and the bloodlands are a bit more challenging, weren't they? Wait, you're having fun, right? Maybe I'm overthinking things. If you have seen any glitches or problems in the game, just know it's not my fault. I'm working as fast as I can. As long as you're still having fun and won't leave me, I'll be sure to make the rest of this game amazing for us. Huh, the docks are quite empty for how big they are. I wonder if Captain Chunk's crew scared everyone away. What? Now this puzzle is already making me, my artificial brain hurt. Who even designed this? All right, heh. Whoa, slow down there, Om. You are taking things a bit too fast. I want to make sure you have time to enjoy all of the wonderful things I've made. You solved that puzzle rather quickly, quicker than I'd hoped, to be honest. This is all for you, so take a deep breath and enjoy the scenery. Look at the water, it's so calming. I did a great job. Om's brain has been filled with new muscle memory. Whoa, wait. You actually solved the lever puzzle? Well, we won't let you get to that shipment. Or that lever behind us. Let us help out Captain Chunk, fellas. Everyone wants to beat up on Morden. the button. No more stealing goods and treasure. I'm stealing hearts now. Alm's brain is feeling completely normal now. If you're wondering why I'm going after these guys, it's just because they're, um, their attack is harder to block. That did nothing to my bendy bones. W. Too much apple juice. Z. Ha, are you even trying? I really hope they're trying. That actually hurt me a bit. Only physically, though. I'm feeling great mentally. You know what? I don't think the pirate life is for me. Thank you for helping me realize that, friend. Just slip that lever behind me once you're done. It'll help you across. 
Wasn't that fun? I thought it was fun. Okay, let's flip that lever. Whoa, I think you did something. The note reads, Hey, Cap'n, I just installed all ten emergency levers, like you asked. Not sure how ten levers will help in an emergency, but I'm sure you have your reasons. I also tied in some bolts on the decoy levers in case you forgot. So flip everything right, except for the decoys. Listen closely. P.S. Throw this out after reading. You never know when an unexpected hero will come through. So... So flip everything right except for the decoys. Maybe I should have added more levers. I can tell you really love levers, smiley face. Whoa, wait, you're already here? Why are you playing through the game so fast? Look, I'm just working so hard to make this game for you. I, f if I feel very sloppy and stressed right now. I've got a million things going on in my head. And you're taking things too quickly for me to keep up with. On the bright side, there was a bug I had to take care of that has been breaking our game. It shouldn't be a problem anymore. Just take your next flight slowly. It could be a tough one. I haven't tested him much, to be honest. You're gonna do great, Om. Good luck. Please, sir, I'm just here for the fish. No, you here for shipment. I protect shipment. You, where did you come from? You will not get shipment. I protect shipment. I am the captain. I will protect shipment. I keep doing that. Is there a way to go back? Uh, B X H You look yummy. I want to eat you. Go so fast. Uh, I love cookies. The rafts promised me cookie. You look like cookie. You cannot hurt me. Only I can hurt me. Although Raph say mean things that sometimes hurt me. Butterflies appear in Captain Chunk's stomach and are trying to eat their way out. They will now take damage for a few turns. I just want to go on an adventure. Raph say no adventure.
You seem like good immature. That must be fun. Well, I'm too old for this fighting stuff. At least you can never be too old for a skateboarding. That's it. I don't want to fight no more. I just want to go on an adventure with friends. Just like you. Thank you for being nice to me. Here, take these presents. I'm going home. Oh boy, that was a nightmare. I don't think I'm ever going to sleep again. Thanks for saving me though, stranger. I may be scarred for life, but at least I had a fun time doing it. Guggen sent you. Oh no, she will not be happy. Well, I need to get back. I guess I'll see you there. Yes, you saved Deckhand Darled. I bet Captain Guggen is going to be so happy. Let's get back to the fishing shop. Hey, puppy. What? But I thought I... Ugh, oh, never mind. Let's just get to the fishing shop. Hi, Captain, I'm back. Daryl, you're alive, you crazy son of a fishmonger. Glad to be back, Ma. I mean, Captain. I'm glad you're safe, Daryl. Were you able to grab the shipment? Yes, ma'am, here she is. Here, hand it on over. Wait a second, this isn't fish. It looks like this is a box of wanted posters. Where are the fish, Gerald? I'm sorry, ma'am. It was the only shipment I could find. Hmm, well that's odd. Wanted dead or alive, Numbly, bounty, $20. Please deliver Numbly to King Raff, they know too much. Who's Numbly? Numbly? Wait, I just remembered something. While I was hiding behind some crates, I overheard that Numbly is being held in the mayor's basement. Apparently, they were arrested by the mayor a few days ago for being a traitor. They were secretly working for the rafts on something. Oh, well, would you look at that? Maybe go track them down, Om. The mayor's house is the big mansion to the right of the stage area. Well, anyways, thanks again, friend. Come back again anytime. They seem so happy to be reunited. Hmm, 